this. Low fat, no fat, full cream, high calcium, high protein soy, light skim, omega-3, high calcium with vitamin D and folate or extra dollop. That was 10 years ago and one type of milk is conspicuously absent. Yep, that ad was 100% permeate free free because back in 2003, nobody knew what permeate was and nobody cared. But today, milks are crawling all over each other to say they've got no permeate. Pure, simple and permeate free. And that's the way milk should be. How did this happen? Well, much like that ad, the permeate debate is diluted with a byproduct called bullshit. And when there's bullshit in Australia's information supply, you gotta go straight to the source. It's the secret the dairy industry's been keeping from us. A widespread industry practice where additives are being used in our major brands. The major companies that process milk are adding a watery substance called permeate. It's tampered with, waste products added. What the major processors are doing is getting this stuff and pouring it into full cream milk. It took a while for the permeate debate to really get whipped up, but by the end of last year, the second most Googled what is question in Australia was about permeate. Permeate's even bigger than Scientology. You're a jerk. You're a jerk. So what were the evil milk companies adding to our milk? Well, they were adding milk. It all starts with cows. They produce milk, which goes through a separator to remove the cream and create skim milk. Next, some of that skim milk goes through ultrafiltration, where the lactose, water and water-soluble vitamins are separated out. Together, they're called permeate. What's left is called retentate, which is used to make cheese and other dairy products. Because the makeup of milk changes through the year, producers sometimes put different amounts of permeate and cream back into the milk to standardise its fat and protein content. This is all before the milk's homogenised and pasteurised and placed on our shelves as a kind of calcium-rich suicide bomber in the duopoly price wars. You can argue about whether producers add permeate to the milk to standardise it or to save money, if you've got nothing better to do. But there's no doubt that permeate is 100% made of milk. And regardless of how it's made, the Food Standards Code regulates the amounts of fat and protein that must be contained in all milk. So saying milk is permeate-free doesn't mean the ingredients of permeate aren't in it. It just means they haven't been taken out and put back in again. And is it dangerous? Well, according to one of the biggest advertisers of permeate-free milk, no. They say there's nothing wrong with permeate, they're just giving consumers the milk they want. And thanks to a series of stories featuring shadowy faces, black and white industry whistleblowers and scary clear liquids being poured, it became pretty obvious what consumers wanted. All the big brands now proudly advertise that they are permeate free. It just goes to show, when Aussie consumers come together, we have extraordinary power. We can make huge companies kneel before us and achieve something entirely pointless. But still, good on you, Australia. As they say, it's no use crying over spilt permeate. <laughs>